Stephen looks as a political. <laughs> Stephen looks as a. <laughs> Stephen looks as a political philosopher who said that power comes in three varieties, called the three spaces of power. The first phase of power is decision making. This is the capacity to force people to do what they wouldn't have done otherwise or don't want to do. An example of the first phase of power is in Scotland 2012 when the introduction of the Alcohol Minimum Pricing Act was challenged by the Scotch Whiskey Association. Despite this, the act still came into force in 2018. This shows power as we see the outcome that Nicola Sturgeon was able to put the act into force even if there were people who disagreed. The second phase of power is agenda setting. This is the ability to stop people doing what they want to do or to influence what decisions are discussed. Media outlets use this phase of power often as they determine which stories to cover, how they are framed and the amount of attention they get which can influence public opinion. An example of this is when media personality Steve Bannon influenced the people of the country as he controlled what was included in the media to influence their views as the media favoured Trump in the US and the Conservatives in the UK. The third phase of power is manipulating desires. This is the power to shape the way people think. In order to manipulate people's interests, you need to form interests somehow. A Marxist example of the third phase of power is the working class's conception of their own interest has been manipulated by capitalists so that they think that capitalism is in their own interest rather than communism. Things such as marketing and education convince the working class that having money and luxury things is desirable and that capitalism provides everyone the opportunity to do that.